Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jeremy here. Uh, I spared the expense because you're going to see it in the video description anyways, but I've got an unboxing for you. And as you can see, it is the ECXX. Two-wheel drive monster truck. Uh, unfortunately, with at least in my opinion, I understand why they do it, but all ECX vehicles seemingly now are sold exclusively through brick and mortar hobby shops. I'm sure ECX has some sort of a deal to be a a store only exclusive. I can understand it needing to support the hobby shops but uh, it's difficult when there's things that you want that you can't buy online especially if you don't live near a hobby shop. But I was lucky enough to score one of these today from a hobby shop up in the city uh, and as soon as this one was announced I, I knew I had to have it one way or the other. You can, there are a few of these on eBay for sale right now but they are just stupid expensive. I think they're all over $200 plus shipping, which is, is pretty unrealistic. So I'm glad that I got this for, uh, I think the tag says $159 plus tax, but I think it was going for $149 at the hobby shop. Um, but again, a two wheel drive brushed monster truck by ECX. Uh, you know, let's get into it. Let's get this thing opened up. You guys know me, you know how much I love. Uh, monster trucks, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, doesn't matter. I just love them. And uh, the exclusive uh, licensed body, this thing, just based on looks alone, I knew I had to have it. That's probably pretty uh, crappy of me, but I think this is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, one thing to keep in mind purchasing this vehicle. While it is ready to run, it's not completely ready to run in my opinion. It does not come with a battery or charger. You're going to have to supply that yourself. Here's a look at uh, the STX2 transmitter. Uh, you know, it's got your throttle and steering reverses, throttle trims, your dual rates steering. Uh, and it's got a throttle limiter button here as well. Uh, apparently you can set your throttle 50, 75 or uh, 100 plastic wheel but uh, you know seems seems all right four double A's and let's get this beauty out of the box I'm super stoked about this one uh, show you quick uh, you've got your uh, owner's manual foam pad for your battery, a little bag with a T-wrench, different bits. Uh, they do give you four double A's for the radio and uh, it's looking like the, the bumper. I'm not sure if that's front or back. Uh, I'm sure it was there for packing purposes. I'll get into that later. Uh, I'm kind of doing a quick unboxing here. I had actually planned on holding off until my next day off, which is Monday. Um, I just got home from work not even a half an hour ago and uh, my son Hayden could not wait he needed to see this thing so I said alright let me go get my stuff and we'll shoot a quick unboxing video <laughs> there it is the X two wheel drive brushed monster truck uh, this thing looks great. I'm sure on the video it's it's not gonna that uh, my camera's probably not even gonna do it justice. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, uh, and I actually might almost feel bad about screwing up this body at some point when I'm outside bashing it. Um, not gonna stop me though. Who am I kidding? Uh, nice looking. Uh, monster truck tires they even uh, you know did the white lettering for ECX on the on the tires uh, rims look pretty cool your basic monster truck chevron pattern on the on the tires no foams in there whatsoever but I gotta say for uh, running my tracks to Scully that uh, doesn't have foams on the tires either uh, for being a monster truck I think it makes it that much more fun but man this body is is absolutely gorgeous. I, it's. I'm not gonna stop from running it outside. It's not gonna be a shelf queen, but uh, 
first time I flip this thing over onto its lid, I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna feel kind of bad. Uh, I mean, just take a look. That uh, that is really nice. I'm hoping I'm getting that in the shot there. That is really nice. Uh, this this platform based off of the ECX uh, two-wheel drive ruckus chassis, I believe. Uh, a number of years ago, I did have a brushless two-wheel drive ruckus. I didn't have it that long. Uh, sold it off so I could buy something else. Wish I'd hung on to it. Um, you know, not a whole lot of fancy stuff going on with this truck, but for the price point of wherever you get it, one forty-nine or one fifty-nine. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you can expect the world. It's got the uh, famous ECX battery retainer bar, which uh, there. There's really two clips. There's already one foam in there. I believe this is a 60 amp ESC, and it does. Uh, it does have the, chump, the jumper pin for a lipo or nickel metal hydride. Keep in mind if you buy this that the ESC does have EC3 connectors. Um, looks like you get a few different pos mounting positions for your shocks on the shock towers and on the... Looks like three positions on the top of the towers and uh, two different on the bottom of the arms. Uh, no adjustability here. I mean, all the all your linkage is plastic. It's not adjustable. Not a huge deal to me because this is just the kind of truck that uh, you know you charge up a battery, you take it out there, you do some of your own monster jam stunts, and uh, it's going to be a bouncy ride. That's to me. That's what it's about. Uh, plastic body, oil filled shocks. Uh, they say adjustable shocks, but there's no threaded bodies on them. You're just using uh, the uh, the little spacer clips. The front has one thin one on each of the front shocks and two of the thicker ones in the back. And uh, it is a 12-turn brushed motor. I believe it's a dynamite motor, if I'm not mistaken. And... Uh, Plastic uh, telescoping axle shafts. Um, you know, and I know from uh, there's not a lot out there right now on YouTube. I think there's only one other guy that I've seen uh, that's done any videos on this. Um, you know, I don't think for me personally, this isn't the kind of truck that I bought with the mindset. Of doing all kinds of crazy stuff to it, hopping it up and, and making it uh, wicked fast or some great handling machine. That's that's not my intention for this. Uh, you know, like my Scully, this here, I can see myself pretty much keeping it as is. I think a 12 turn brush motor for this kind of truck on a 2S LiPo is going to be plenty of power, plenty of speed, and it's going to offer Hayden and I plenty of fun whenever we get the chance to take this outside, which won't be soon enough because it's snowing yet again. But, uh... Oh, one other thing that I was reading about, some people very disappointed that the transmission in this has plastic gears. There are no metal gears in here. Um, again, as long as she holds up on 2S, I don't have an issue with that. I did read that uh, you could get... Uh, you can upgrade the transmission yourself. You can get the metal gears. I'm not going to worry about that anytime soon. Again, this is a truck that I'm just going to throw a lipo in, take it outside, and have uh, a ton of fun. Uh, I think that's pretty much about all I got to say about this right now. Um, not only does this body just look gorgeous, I mean, I can't, I really can't get over it. Uh, it feels like it's going to be. Plenty durable. Um, you know, how long will the plastic ladders 
last on the body. They are screwed in here on the back side, four screws holding uh, each ladder. But uh, this, this feels sturdy, it feels good. And uh, like I said, I was planning on doing this unboxing on Monday on my day off and I had more time, but Hayden was excited to give me this truck and he wanted to see it. So kind of impromptu, but I thought I would get it out there. If anybody else is thinking about getting these. Um, yeah, 12 turn brush motor. I think it's gonna be just fine that way. I love brushless and all that stuff, but trucks like these, I think this will be just fine. I just I can't get over how good this body looks. It is it is really sharp looking. And uh yeah, leave those two pins for later. But I think that's gonna wrap this unboxing up of the ECX two-wheel drive monster truck. Like I said, uh unfortunately it is a hobby store exclusive, so unless you want to go on eBay and pay a lot more for this truck, you're gonna have to find a, a hobby shop to pick one off. I feel that's kind of unfortunate in my opinion, but I do understand why they do it. But uh, I'm super glad to have this one. I love my monster trucks and this thing just looks fantastic. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, keep your eyes peeled whenever we can get a break in the weather we can get our first run of this truck in. Uh, I already got plans going through my head. Uh, for this spring and summer with all the monster trucks. I have different things I can do with them um, But you know if you if you watch this video if you enjoyed it, uh, please give me a like and a comment and uh, Don't forget to subscribe especially if you like what you're seeing in front of the camera right now uh, So be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so that as I do new videos especially of this truck outside running around You'll know about it when I do it if you guys have any questions comments about this truck in particular, let me know. Drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, everybody take care. Have a great day.